Good morning. It's a Sunday morning. Beautiful day out finally. The sun coming out. And I thought I'd just uh, share with you some uh, words of encouragement today. It was interesting the other day. I was um, coming home from the store, walking home and uh, going down the sidewalk and someone was coming towards me and um, they kind of went like this with their hood and they walked on the other side of the street and walked around me. And uh, that's okay. I mean, that's social distancing. I, they don't know if I'm sick or not. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it was. It was. I got home and I thought, you know, Jesus talked about uh, this social uh, distancing in the scriptures. Yeah, he did. Honestly, it's, it's in Luke 10:25 uh, to 37, and um, he told a parable. He said on one occasion he was talking to a teacher of the law and everybody always wanted to make sure they were following the laws and and doing everything right and um, so anyway the uh, he stood up to test Jesus and he said uh, teacher he said what do I have to do to in, inherit uh, everlasting life and uh, Jesus said well what's written in law what do you how do you see it what what do you have to do to have that and and the guy answered this expert in the law answered he said um, to love the lord your god with all your heart mind and soul and uh, and also to love your neighbor as yourself and jesus said uh, yeah you've answered that correctly he said uh, if you do that you'll live and you'll live a good life but the guy wasn't kind of satisfied with that and questioning jesus and he had to take it one step further he had to kind of define who his neighbor really was and and so he he uh said uh but he wanted to justify himself so he asked jesus and who is my neighbor and then jesus told this terrible parable and uh it was interesting this is where the social distancing comes in he said a man was going down from jerusalem to jericho when he fell into the hands of robbers, they stripped him of his clothes and they beat him and went on their way, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be coming down the same road. And when he saw the man, and here comes the social distancing, it said when he saw the man, he crossed over the road and passed by on the other side. In the same way, it said there was also a Levite when he came to the place and saw the man. He passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him, and he went to him, and he bandaged his wounds. He poured on oil and wine, and he put the man on his own donkey. He took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper, and he said, Look after him. He said, and it, when I return, I'll reimburse you for any extra expense that you may have. And then Jesus asked this. He said, which of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robber? And of course, the expert of law, he replied, the one who had mercy on him. And Jesus said, yeah, you need to go and do likewise. And... Uh, <laughs> I believe that during these times we do need to do our part in loving others. I believe also we need to make sure that distancing, this social distancing doesn't keep us from helping and loving others. Uh, we may have to get a little closer than six feet, but uh, be safe about it. <laughs> but I believe that uh, it's up to us to do that. We can be the healers of this nation and of this world if we just follow some of the examples of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.